got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow that's off with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Ooh, dope. Ooh, dope. It's your boy. You don't know brutal somebody see wicked at me with a next video for y'all man so y'all know how it is y'all brew squad stand up we out here man we in the building we in the building anyone y'all got that notification bell on lock trust me put that notification bell on lock and put Bruce Squad in the comment section, man. I do appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know how it is. The grind will stop. And sometimes the news there makes itself, man. Now, warning out there. Warning out there. 2K drop a patch. It was huge. For me, it was like 35 point something. Now, I got into the game yesterday, man. And y'all gotta listen to this man i ain't gonna front with y'all y'all gotta listen to this before i really get to the info i got some nice info for y'all so some of the things that 2k pass that i didn't let y'all know now i got in man y'all should have came through my stream yesterday man it was pure entertainment your boy almost flipped yesterday man i got in man let me tell y'all what happened it took me an hour to get into our first game man an hour now i got in Turn on my game after the patch. Say, your boy gonna start up the stream. I got onto the stream. All right, all right. Let's get it, man. Now I load up. My guy New sent me an invite. Join New. Somebody said, bro, you sure you don't want to adjust your badges now that you, last thing you were playing was Park. Now you want to adjust it to your rec badges. You know you got a difference now. We got to give 2K a big shout out to that. You know what I mean? So now you got to think a little bit more depending on what game mode you're playing. So I went in and checked my badges. I saw like no badges. I'm like, 2K, y'all crazy. Y'all got, y'all, your boy Brooke going to do a raid? No, hell no, 2K. No, let me do the hard reset shit out of the gate. Uh, hard reset. Come back in. All right, new. send me an invite, man. I'm loading up. Put my player here, 98 overall. Put my player here, man. Load him up. Check it again. No badges. This always said, oh, nah, bro. This is a different player you got. So it seems like there's a glitch now that once you accept someone's invite, the game automatically puts you on a different player you got in your lineup. So if you got two players, and it seems like this is always, it always links you to the worst one in your lot for some reason i think 2k is trolling us man so i loaded up with my center and my center got no badges i played one marker with him one marker again with him he got no attributes added none of that so that was a set. so i was like what and it kept happening over and over again to the point that i eventually had to delete him so the only player I have right now on my roster is my playmaker, my point guard. Now, a lot of people can't do this because they got multiple players that they applied money to and applied VC to. But damn it, everyone I know was getting in, getting that problem, man. So, yo, yes, the only solution so far for me. Now, someone came into the stream and said, you could get around this by joining through the fold, but for me, I cannot necessarily join through the fold because that feature was there earlier when the game dropped, but eventually, now when I go to my phone, what I'm seeing is invite to the neighborhood, and not only that, warning, warning, stay away from your phones, stay away from your phones. Every time I start pulling up my phone when I'm getting in my squad to check, and you know you always, before you get into the wreck, and you check to see if everyone's on the squad, whoop! Dashboard, what the, what's going on, yo, black screen? Yeah, yeah, it was dashboarding. As soon as you pull up your phone too much, their phones, stay away from their phone. So what we eventually start doing is, we will make sure everyone is in the park and one person set out all the invites and everybody make sure to accept the invite once and do not check back your phone. Do not, because you might get dashboarded. 
and that's how we eventually start playing now it took us an entire hour to get this right because you imagine five people love um joining parks with the wrong bill it was just crazy and getting that body can't like I ain't gonna front, man. It was an episode yesterday. I was already made up my mind to do a rant video, man. But I don't have to right now. I really don't. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Sometimes when 2K drop patches, these are the things. Sometimes they fix some things and mess up some of the most, like the most accessible stuff that we that we use all the time. That's what happened with this patch. Now. Let me go to the patch notes so far, man. Now, this is something I did not highlight yesterday. This is patch four. It's where that it, they released this patch four and Mike Wayne actually posts the patch notes for some of the more stuff like we really care about because this is the stuff we don't care about. Like he said, fix an issue caused some, um, fix an issue that caused some play now online. My team unlimited, play with friends and all star, team up games to disconnect prior to completion i don't care about that next one is fix an issue where some of my team users were reporting their collective level progress uh, was shown as being reset i don't care about that and then they say many more fixes, including whatever so this is pack four i don't care about this but my queen posts some stuff that i started to care about you talk about more whites and more that i did in my video yesterday if you missed out check that out as well it's gonna be at the end of this video for y'all to click on promise but anyways some of the stuff i noticed straight the gate man straight the gate and some of the stuff that they didn't even put on the list that mike wade didn't even highlight that are really key and important that made this patch a pretty good one actually outside of the glitches it was a pretty good patch i give them props at the end of the day i call them on their trash i say y'all gotta patch this gotta patch it so when they patch it i will give them props now starting off, RIP 73 bigs. RIP 73 bigs. A lot of bigs are complaining out there. They went ahead and created the bigs that said 40 speed. Because the game was allowing them to keep up with point guards. I got a 99 speed. 99 speed. Right? 99 speed. But Bigs was still chasing me down. That's for straighten as a point guard. Y'all, y'all have no idea. Imagine you knowing. You ain't got no height to finish around. Like you ain't got no height. And these big ass trucks is sticking onto you on fast breaks. Now, no way, bro. Calm down. All bigs are saying, bro, it didn't even make no sense we come down there when we throw it out on the fast break. Because you're already done by the time we reach half court. That's how it should be. I'm sorry, especially if you create a big like that. Now, you could actually create shorter bigs, like how the game was meant to be, I guess. Because remember when the builds earlier, when we was looking at all the bigs and stuff like that? We would usually go like 611 because of the speed. You don't want a big, a huge hit on the speed. That's why you went shorter. But with how the game was working, it wasn't really matching up to the stats too much. Cause then every speed was the same. 2K actually went ahead and fixed it. I'm sorry, that might be a negative for y'all, but it's a plus for me. Speed, stats, attributes must matter. Now the next thing, lobs have been passed. Now this is a big hit to me. This is a big hit to me. And this is kind of on the borderline of not being good because I got a 98 or 98 pass accuracy right now. If I'm a 99, it's going to be 99. That's how it fluctuates, right? And I cannot throw a lob. I'm talking about, I'm going on fast break. My big is wide open. Whoop, open the book head. Whoop, out of bounds. What the hell? Why do I have a 99 pass in accuracy or my 98 pass in accuracy and can't throw a lob? This badge should be... Like flashy pass the badge. It does not help you get more flashy passes. Trust me. I'm I got that badge in I added it on the Hall of Fame and still it was still throwing at people's feet and throwing out of bounds. Still. But what it did, it gives you extra incentive to make a flashy pass. Because now when I make a flashy pass, guess what? It boosts my teammates' takeover in two shots. Once he make two shots, it fills up the bar. That's the incentive. But it does not add to your accuracy that is exactly what they should have did with the lob city passer not make it that base based on your um if you get the bad now you can make more accurate passes no they should make it on once you throw some lobs oh gives your teammate a boost 
give you a boost to make those laps that's how it should have been but now they make it that you need the badge in fact i went to a few people's stream and saw them start adding the badges because throwing laps is so was such a huge part of the game now they gotta take some hits on the badges man i'm sorry that's what just what i'm i thought so it is what it is as i said why should i have a 98 on my passing accuracy and cannot throw a lap makes no sense 2k let's talk about that tell y'all hit the guru up i could help y'all make some better decisions in your life come on man trust me now the next thing i saw that was flagrant have been patched y'all the flagrant fouls they've definitely been patched now I will play, play with two bigs regular, of course. I hit them up earlier in this game, and then I noticed these two are dogs, and they're even better playing together. All right, that's um, Freddy and Zoe. All right, now I do have a few bigs that I've been scouted up because sometimes Freddy is working and sometimes Zoe is busy, so you gotta switch them out. And you need two bigs to run the wreck. And this year, the wreck is it for me. I ain't gonna front y'all. I get in the park, record some gameplay that I got coming for y'all soon. I promise. I promise I got some nice gameplay coming for y'all, man. So, um, got in there, and usually, between Freddy and Zoe, they got like maybe around four technicals, enough technicals, flagrants a game. Freddy alone picks up like three. Zoe might pick up one here and there, unless he got like a game where he picking up two. And that's the regular for every game. Now, the entire night we played, and of course, I played on stream. If y'all were there, y'all slipping. Come through my live stream, by the way. They pick up one. Both of them. Between both of them, they pick up one overall. Flagrant. That was weird to me. So def they definitely nerfed it down. Now, someone did send me a clip of getting a, a flagrant. I don't mind they pick up a flagrant here and there. But the fact that someone they allowing people to pick up flagrants for three game, three in a game, and sometimes they ain't doing nothing in the animation that like that was definitely need to be addressed. So flagrant, it seemed like they definitely addressed the flagrant. Now the next thing they address, and this is a <laughs> yeah, I gotta give him a, a bougie clap for this one. The quitting in the wreck, they addressed it. They addressed it. Now I ain't fear playing the wreck no more. In fact, I'm having fun in the wreck right now without worrying about people quitting out. Now you're not getting penalized for people quitting out, y'all. They're not, and you're getting rep as well. So now we out there trying to run people off the court. Then I quit on you. The, the faster you quit out, the better for us. We get on to the next guy. So no more worrying about people quitting out. They fixed the problem, man. Shout out to y'all for that one. I ain't going for fun. I do appreciate y'all. Now the next thing I noticed, it's easier to get a 99 in the wreck. And y'all, I'm talking about mostly wreck because that's the game mode I play most. I did went under the park for one game last night, right? But yes, I'm talking about, yes, you getting more overall rep. Now it's easier for me to get to that 99. So now we can really get on that grind without saying, I'm going to take a hit on my 99. Man, how y'all think I ain't got back to 99? Because I've been running wreck so far. Because the reason why I run wreck is because the game is much longer than a park game. So you're not necessarily getting more rep, but I'm seeing the bar move. I get more incentive to play once I'm seeing the bar move because the game is longer. I'm doing more. I'm, make, I'm more active. I'm seeing the bar move versus the park where that point one ain't gonna work, but gee. I'm a superstar. What that point one ain't gonna work. I'm sorry. Right, so that's why I play more more on um, right now. In fact, I probably play the same amount, but great games are longer, so it seems like I'm playing them more. Right. Now that's something. Now the next thing on my list, they actually added a percentage bar on the rep. That's a plus. I ain't gonna front because sometimes I used to be out there guessing, man. I would see like when I'm playing the game, I would notice, all right, so I gained this much percentage on the bar. But when I go back and I'm in the neighborhood and check my bar, I'm like, all right, so that looks like 75 percent ish. I'm kind of close, I guess. And I used to be throwing out averages and approximations and stuff like that. So they definitely added that percentage bar 
um, when it comes to you checking your rep bar in the park. That's a plus. Now, the next thing they added that wasn't highlighted was short shorts, man, to the pro amp. So now you could go in there. I know this is just cosmetic, man. But come on, man. I got that athletic legs, man. Why not sport it off? <laughs> I ain't gonna front with y'all, man. When I played in college, that was 2006 to 2010, right? We wanted the biggest shorts ever. It's weird how time changed back, man. Short shorts was a thing of the past with Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan in the early days. Then Michael Jordan was one of the ones that started the wave of the long shorts and stuff like that, to be quite honest, right? From what I've been seeing and what I've heard and all the info I researched in basketball, because that was before my time. But... It's where that time change that now all oh, everybody wants short shorts, man. That's that's the cycle of life, man. Crazy, crazy. That's something I want to highlight, man. I ain't gonna front with you. Now the next thing I gotta warn you all about. I forgot to warn you all about this in the beginning. Buy boost. Buy boost at your own risk. A lot of people have been reporting that yo, I went to buy boost. I have not because I always stay stacked. So I have I ain't run out of boost yet, man. You know, I'll keep on my 99 boost. I ain't gonna front with y'all. A lot of people will be reporting, I'm going to the boost and I'm freezing or I'm getting dashboarded. So that is the day. Right now, Babylon system watching the weed lady, man. The drug lady is being watched by 5-0. So right now, if you go in there, you might get penalized. You might get locked up. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Y'all getting dashboard like a mug. All right. So anyways, man, those are the things that I really noticed out the gate. All right. I'm going to go over them one more time real quick. Number one, R.I.P. Seven three centers, of course. So, yes, y'all need to go down shorter centers. I know y'all already put in a lot of work on these builds, but y'all should already know by the stats that 40 speed is what y'all gonna have. And now, 40 speed is what y'all have. I know y'all might be upset, but the stats, numbers don't lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, your mama might lie to you, your papa might lie to you, but the numbers won't. I promise y'all. Lobs, nerf, nerf. Now, me with 98 passing accuracy cannot throw lobs. Next thing, flagrants have been patched. The flagrants have been patched. Still receiving some flagrants, but not as much as he was before. That's a plus. The next thing is the quitting in the regs. Oh my God. One of the most stressful things as a reg player you got to experience have been addressed, man. Now you can go ahead and blow out teams without trying to let these dudes get them. Like we used to literally let people get a lot of points for them to stay into the game, y'all. Because we know we would get hit with that 95. Ooh, ooh. Man. So now we can go ahead, man. I ain't going front. It's so much more fun to play wreck right now. Now the next thing they um they added was the, the percentage on the ball for you to see your rep overall. Um, how far you got in your rep. All right while you're in the neighborhood. Now, last, um, the next thing again, they actually made it more easier for you else to get to the 99, which is better. Not necessarily easier. You will get hit if you play the average game. Like, we will get 97s, nine but we got, I got so much 99s yesterday. Like, I was like, yeah, they definitely did something to the overall rep percentage. This is something I was talking about it as well. I don't want to just hand us 99. Make sure we play a game that's a really good standout. Please. That was all I asked, and you all definitely did, did that. Now, besides all the lagging and the stuff that y'all definitely need to address, I'm sure y'all could probably address that in a hot fix. Hopefully, y'all dropped that this morning. Overall, overall. Now, I did play in the park yesterday, by the way. I forgot to mention. I did play in the park. And the shots I wasn't hitting the wreck, like the full whites, the full bars, I literally was missing a lot of full bars and full whites in the wreck. I was hitting the park, so I noticed the full whites aspect of it more applied to the park. So I was hitting a lot of full whites in the park because I was out there shooting lights out, man. That, that game I played, like, oh, I'm like, damn, okay, park, okay, I could come back in the park now, for real, for real. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm lighting it up right now. So I noticed the full whites thing more applied to the park over the wreck. The wreck shouldn't seem the same that it was before. It doesn't seem like it was affected at all. But anyways, man, that's all I got for y'all. The video is long enough, man. I ain't gonna front. Sometimes the news is just there. I gotta try to do hard. I ain't gotta do too much research, man. Shout out to 2K for that patch. Now y'all need to address a few things. I'm not gonna make a rage video. Y'all almost. Ooh. Ooh. My. Oh. 
Oh, man, you almost got me yesterday. Almost, oh my god, I ain't gonna lie, you all missed out on that in the stream, bro. That was entertaining, man. A lot of people like to watch your boy suffer. I was really, ooh. <laughs> but anyways, man, one thing I want to highlight here is I want you all to put in the comment section what else you all notice have been addressed, what else glitch has been popping up since the game since this big patch has dropped man i want you all to make sure and highlight that to me i probably missed out a lot because i only did play a few hours after i get off a job of work probably like five hours or so and it was mostly the wreck i played like one game in the park so make sure and put in the comment section anything i missed out i'll probably add it to a later video man y'all know how it is man um you know these videos do get to some them sometimes so it might looking to see some feedback in the community to address some of the things but anyways man don't forget y'all the first time to the channel like the video share the video and hit your boy a subscribe if it's not your first time though like the video share the video you never know who's gonna be important you never know your boy seem one love respect y'all bless up peace, peace. 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 peace.